Well, we've got the green light. It's actually kind of crazy the little spots that you can hunt on this lake. So it's actually a lot more than I expected. There's a there's a chance with this cold weather that we have a big buck chasing a doe through here. So there's big ones around, but we're gonna go poke around for a little bit. Got maybe an hour and a half left of daylight and go figure out where we're gonna hunt tomorrow. It's a bush. My apologies. I'm getting a little gun shy here. Meat <laughs> bag. It just smells like deer in here. It smells like buck. What'd you say, Jacob? Ow. Man, if you caught your finger in that thing, it would snap it off. Morning, fellers. This is gonna be an interesting day. <laughs> Do you have all your gear? Do we need to sing a gear song for you? No. Your gear check. You got your camo. You got half your camo on. That's a start. You know what? Today is Thomas. Tell me. It's the day of the election of our president of the United States of America. It's a very important day. Yep, and we're going deer hunting. So yep. we, get, we got to stock up on food. We're getting out of here. No idea what's we're getting the heck out of here. We're trying to kill as many deer and put them in that boat as we can today. Cause that boat might sink. We might. We might. It's already it, gonna be loaded down. But if we have like six deer on there. I'd be down. I hope we find out. <laughs> we can put them on a stringer and pull them behind. Yeah. Small float them behind. Yeah. New float. Oh, by the way, I did not do a very good job of introducing who these guys are that we're hunting with this week. Most of you guys already know, but for those of, the, of you that don't, uh, this is Aaron and Jake from the Hunting Public. They travel around nonstop and hunt public land across the entire country. Um, they have a big, big following on YouTube, so if you guys don't follow them yet, go ahead and do that. What we've uh, decided to do is a little bit of combination between urban and public land. So we actually have a lake <clears throat> in Tennessee and there's like these little slivers of woods, public land, uh, public access, up in these like urban environments along the lake. So first morning doing that, we're gonna kind of scout around, uh, figure out spots that we can tuck into and hopefully kill some deer. There's a ton of them here. Yeah. So we're also giving this boat away. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're giving it away to one of our subscribers. How to enter to win is in the link in the description of this video. $25,000 brand new express bass boat, giving it away around Thanksgiving. We're gonna drive it to one of our subscribers' houses. So if you have not subscribed, please do that now for your chance to enter to win this bad boy. Get your bow, get your bow.
us far than yours if you go. I mean, they're not, they had to have stopped at like 100 yards up here, but we just bumped. I don't know, I only saw like four or five. Thomas said he saw like 12 all get up out of this like tall grass and run this way. And they, I mean, they were blowing and stomping at us. They took off. I bet we're gonna find the same kind of thing in every little pocket of woods like this. Bunch of deer, rubs, scrapes. Smells like a booner to me. What do you think? <laughs> About 160. 60 and a quarter. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's go pick up Aaron. I think Aaron shot something. I don't know if he shot a doe or a buck, but they're waiting on us. Nice legs. I like him. Very Tom Sawyer-ish. Two? No, almost. What just happened? Just had two doves come in right there. Did the fawn and the stress work? No. No? They looked at me like I was an idiot and turned around and ran off. <laughs> but I so thought wild. it didn't sound that terrible. I don't know, maybe it did like, sound pretty terrible. I was kind of joking when I said do the fawn and the stress. You're like, I know. Okay. <laughs> 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 I was like, I know, I figured work. you probably were, but I was like, well, screw it. I'm like they're 40 yards away. On the board, though. On the board. Nice. I like it. It's almost lunchtime. We came back up here to the ramp, loaded the boat up, got the dough on here. We're gonna run out and grab some lunch quick and then come back in as soon as we can and keep scouting, probably hang some stands. These guys will and uh, then we'll figure out what we're gonna do tonight. We've already got some real, real good options in play. So I'd say there's a good chance y'all gonna see more action this evening. We just dropped Aaron and uh, Lee off at their spots. We're actually going back to the place we bumped those deer this morning, that little pocket. And we're gonna go knock on a door to try to get access from the, uh, from the roadside. Cause getting in there was pretty difficult. So I'm gonna knock on a couple doors real quick and hopefully get in before it gets too close to dark. But there's a ton of deer in this spot. So we'll see how this goes doesn't really look like someone's at this first house. <sighs> he was completely bewildered that we could hunt back there, but he said uh, he said no, no access through his property. So we'll find somebody else. All right, he's cool with it. We're just gonna go park in that little side road back there and then walk his property down.
shot me a giant, boys. I bet. I chose the wrong side of the cove to hunt tonight. I bet they were all. There's like yesterday. 20 of them over there, just constantly cruising, cruising, cruising. And I didn't see squat. Just right in front of those houses. Yeah. Yeah. You got this guy right at, baby? right at last <laughs> night. That uh, that one you saw this morning, Drew, with the that funky yeah. rack buck. He came by it 30 yards. I mean, I could have shot him, but he was. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, I mean, I just didn't have a good feel for it. And all night, they all stayed up in that timber like 30 yards away. Yeah, and this, this guy came the in. The first gut pile? Or That's the second. I think this the second. Was, <laughs> first one from this morning's back yeah, here. Yeah, I just got a little kill site right here. I'm not, <laughs> I think I saw this buck chasing Dennis this morning, too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's a nice two-year-old buck, probably. Yeah. Information. Dang, that is a big old mature dog. That is big as a bucket. Nice. Golly, Jeez, man. Christmas. It's a huge old dog. Ready? You gotta rake leaves with feet, too. Yeah, that's what you do when you rattle in a parking lot. They love that pavement sound. <laughs> All right, it's morning number two. Here's the plan. We just dropped Aaron and Jake off at what has been dubbed the kill site. Drew is up in a tree in the place. He shot a deer last night. Tom and I are gonna ground and pound today and try and do some spotting stalks, get it down on the ground. We got three or four different places over here. We're gonna try and see if we can't find some deer and get within bow range. So that's the plan. deer on this point. Go to the next one. Ground and pound, hopping, 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 hopping until we get something. Back in for morning number two. I'm actually back at the set, the set that I hunted last night and killed a doe by myself, this time self-filming. Thomas went with Lee, and he's gonna do some spot and stalks on a few different spots this morning. I'm gonna do some calling this morning, some rattling, see if I can rattle in a buck. Also, this Novik stand that I'm sitting in, we are giving this away to a random comment on this video, so make sure you guys comment on the video if you want a new setup. Make sure you watch the tree stand video that we did showing why we chose to use the Novixes this year. It wasn't just a paid sponsorship sponsorship deal. Like we tested all the stands um, that were on this caliber and we chose this one. So if, uh, if you guys don't win the giveaway, we also have a 15% off discount code, C115. I'll put it in the description. Um, so if you're in, in need for a new setup this season, you're not gonna find a better, a better deal than the Novix Echo. So.
Yeah, there goes a deer. Two deer. There's a little buck chasing them. We need to slip in. How far, when you walked in here yesterday, how far could you see? I could see all the way across it. We need to just get in here and tuck in somewhere and just sit. There's deer running all over this hillside. You <laughs> shot a big buck, dude. You smoked it. We called him back. We in, called dude. him in, dude. You're grunting out there. This. Give me some. Dude. That's a mature buck. Oh, yeah. Dude, mature buck. That's my first public. Well, that's my first public land buck ever. That was awesome. Holy <gasps> crap. I can't believe he came yes. back. Yes. I didn't think that deer was that big, dude. No. You were like, oh, he's like a... Dude, that deer's mature, man. That's, that's big buck. <gasps> that's a big buck. That went from zero to 100 real fast. Real fast. Because I saw him here, and I couldn't see him through the brush what he was. You were like, oh, he's like a 110-inch deer. Yeah. 
as soon as he stepped out, I was like, dude, that's a mature buck, and I, I'm not passing that opportunity. No, 100%. You're not passing. It. Dude, you have one impressive grunt call for your mouth. I'll give you that, son. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work, but sure enough. Dude, it worked He perfect. came in like a minute later. It worked perfect. He, well, he, he knew something was here. He couldn't tell what it was. And when you did the grunt, I was raking leaves like I was hitting a scrape or something. Dude, he came he came in to check it out. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> and that was like, what, 20 yards? 20 yards. I, he he was at 20 here. And then when he kind of bounded off, he was going to go. Yeah. And I grunted at him to stop him. Yeah. And he turned and gave a shot. He was probably at 23 yards, 24 yards. <sighs> That's awesome. What just dude. happened? That was so awesome. <laughs> Oh, that was freaking awesome. This is what happens. Here's blood. Big time. All right, screw it, honey. Let's just go get this deer. You see him? Uh uh. You see him? Yeah. I told you I saw him. See him. He's right there. Left. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see him too. <laughs> so what I want to make sure of is that we're still on public land. We got a bunch to work with here. But I want to be doggone sure that we are on public ground. Yeah, we got plenty of room. <laughs> this deer's so cool, man. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> First public land deer accessing from the lake on a boat, hunting with the public, the hunting public from the ground. Dude, everything about this deer I'm so proud about. So freaking awesome. We're gonna surprise the boys with this one. Thank you, sir. The old uh, meat wagon Uber. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Payback from yesterday, boys. <laughs> I was like, why is it hid behind this tree all week? <laughs> There's a reason for that. Nice, man. Heck yeah. That's freaking cool. <laughs> up to the deer processor right now we're actually donating all these deer um, they are hunters for the hungry participants so we're gonna just go ahead and donate these like Lee was saying one of our buddies has a ministry in Nashville so the next ones we kill will probably go to him but uh, pretty stoked to be able to get what 200 pounds of venison going to hunters for the hungry yeah, process. yeah. Hi. What's up? Wow. 
<laughs> like Britney Spears or something? Hi. Hi. You going Hi. to kill some deer? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Last day. They got onto me quick. Yeah, they got onto us. Oh gosh. They, dude, they just pop up out of nowhere. It's like all of a sudden you just look up and it's like they're there. But they are definitely feeding under those oaks. Yeah. They're dropping acorns like crazy. Yes. She, she did not go far no. at all. Look at the hole you found in there. So she was quartered away. It right. went right behind her. Uh, shoulder and obviously pop right out the front. That's crazy. That's gnarly. Yeah, real gnarly. Oh. Jeez. Ready? Going to meet Mary. The old meat bag. Nice. Boys? That was more fun than a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I appreciate you guys showing us kind of the ground and pound game. That's nah, man. Don't really thanks. Normally do that. Thanks for toting me around in your boat for a couple of days. Yeah, <laughs> showing was, me and Jake around. Well, I've said spots. this a couple of times. Like, this is really fun. Like sometimes the way we do it, like chasing a specific deer, gets kind of stressful. But like yeah. this is just get a spot set up, like just hunting, and yeah. it's like really fun to kind of take free. a step back. Yeah, yeah. So we're probably gonna have to do some more of this sometime. But. Heck yeah, dude. I don't think we're gonna leave. No, <laughs> well, I'm headed home. Going home I got four or five think, more days I up think here. we're gonna keep, keep hunting. I mean, you can kill three does a day and each of us can kill two bucks two a bucks. piece. Ted got his buck this morning. But well, we donated how many deer? I don't Seven? know, what will this make? Seven? I think that's right. Cause you got two, yeah. I got a duck and a, a buck and a duck. I got a doe and a buck. <laughs> and Lee got, Ted got a buck. Drew got two does. Drew got two does. Yeah. So seven deer total we donated to the Hunters for the Hungry program. There's yeah. obviously plenty of deer here, but We're, we might just stay till we run out of arrows, Ted. I'm good to me. Why not? <laughs> I guess we'll do a dual closing in here. You, you guys are giving, they're giving away a hunt. Uh, subscribe to Hunting Public. We'll put the link in their description, the link to y'all's channel in our description. 
So if you haven't subscribed to them, be sure to go check them out now. Y'all are doing a hunt giveaway, right? Yep, for next fall. Okay. So it'll be fall of 2021. It'll be either a rifle hunt or a bow hunt on public land between like five different states. I think the winner can pick. Nice. So, yep. so go over to their channel. Just be sure to enter to win that. I might enter myself, Yeah. to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're also given the boat we used the whole time, that express boat. We're giving that away around Thanksgiving. How to win that is in the description of this video, too. Yeah, so go to the Seek One channel if you're watching this on ours. <laughs> and we might enter that. Subscribe to so. them. Yeah, y'all might enter. I'm going to read Jake's name on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This was a really fun collaboration. I don't oh, think this yeah. is the last time we're going to do this either. So. <laughs> this is this is killer, man. Yeah. This is this is like getting it be the beginning of the rut down here in Tennessee. Yeah. There's deer everywhere. I mean, there's public land all over the place. We've been knocking on doors. It's just we've all kinds done of opportunity. We've a little bit of everything. Yeah, I mean, we we've have. We've knock on doors. We've done y'all's style hunting on the ground in public. And mm -hmm. it's been the rare collision of two worlds because it is urban-ish. Oh, it like it I told Jake ground. when we got here, like, I have no idea what, what the heck is going to happen. <laughs> I've, never done, I've never done anything like this, yeah. you know. I'm anyway. nervous enough as it is going up and asking a farmer if we can walk through his land and get back to public or yeah. something. And you're just whipping up into these subdivisions and just going, <laughs> getting permission. It's pretty wild. But that's yeah, kind of secondhand now. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys. Hope you enjoyed it.